Right now, the embattled communications director for the Madison School District abruptly retires while on leave after the release of public documents alleging he bullied colleagues and journalists. Plus, an estimated $900 million on the line in tonight's Powerball lottery. And the drawing is happening right now, so keep your tickets close. We'll share those winning numbers. That's all coming up right now at 10. Thanks for joining us. New tonight at 10, the Madison Metropolitan School District is moving on without its embattled director of communications, Tim Lamonts. Madison Schools saying he's chosen to retire. Yeah, that from the district effective immediately. Brady Mallory joins us in studio tonight with what led to that decision. Brady? Lamonts had been on leave since the middle of last month after the release of documents accusing him of bullying colleagues, journalists, and an MPD spokesperson. He unsuccessfully sued to prevent the release of those documents, saying it would damage his and the district's reputations, but a judge ruled against him. Other allegations against him included that he retaliated against others in his own department and created a toxic work environment. He served the district since 2019. In a statement tonight, Interim District Superintendent Lisa Quisted says, we are committed to rebuilding community trust, supporting our communications team, and stabilizing district practices during this transitional year for the district. And the district's announcement tonight came after hours after News 3 Now requested an update on Lamont's status with the district. Brady, thank you. We were the first with this story at channel3000.com and the Channel 3000 mobile app. You can download it for free and turn on push notifications so you never miss a story in your community. The school district of Monroe will officially construct a new high school building on the city's east side. Our Catherine Merck explains how this comes after a vote and months of controversy surrounding the plan. The gymnasium at the current Monroe High School was almost full. Over 1,700 people came out to cast a ballot. Ultimately, the plans for a brand new building went through. However, there were reasons some voted no tonight after misleading information on the November 2022 ballots told residents tax increases would be smaller than what they actually were. I think a lot of people are still a little disturbed that, and feel that they were misinformed for the information that was given out for the referendum. However, the district said having the new school on the new property, which was the other option here, was necessary to accommodate the needs of students. It also said this plan cost the district less money and would give students more space. If the BNS site is not approved, the district has no other options and must construct at the current smaller site with fewer facilities for more money. News 3 Investigates had extensive coverage on the controversial referendum and the thrown out lawsuit that followed. All of our coverage is available on our website right now at channel3000.com. And new tonight, a man accused of robbing multiple businesses in Madison and Janesville in 2020 will go to federal prison for 13 years. That's a sentence a judge handed to 38-year-old Devante Wilson, who pleaded guilty in March to armed robbery charges. He's accused of robbing seven businesses all within three days. Investigators say four of those robberies happened within an hour of each other in Janesville, where he lived. He allegedly pointed a gun at employees during each robbery. Officers arrested him near his home shortly after the final robbery. Here in Madison, an unprovoked attack at a popular waterfront park left one man in the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police say they arrested a man there last night at James Madison Park for battery. Multiple 911 callers told dispatch they saw a man punch and kick another man at around 5.30 in the park. When officers took the attacker into custody, he reportedly made threats at them. He was taken to Dane County Jail and faces charges of substantial battery, criminal damage to property, disorderly conduct, and threats to law enforcement. Madison police say the death of a man found last week in Lake Monona is not considered suspicious. Last Monday, emergency crews were called to the lake and pulled an unresponsive man out of the water near John Nolan and North Shore Drives. Despite efforts to save him, the man was later pronounced dead. Officers opened an investigation into the death, but tonight say there are no suspicious circumstances surrounding it. The man has yet to be identified by the Dane County Medical Examiner. There was some heavy storm damage in the town of Merrimack in Sauk County last night. Emergency management telling us several homes in the area damaged by high intensity winds. You can see the downed trees damaging homes in the area and blocking roads. Most of the damage was south of highways 113 and 78. Well, as for today, though, it was quiet and nice. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti he joins us now with the first one forecast. Yeah, it's nice to finally have some finally uh, some nice weather and get these storms out of here. But you know that storm over Merrimack was very, very 
localized. In fact, take a look at the storm reports over the last 48 hours across the upper Midwest. There are a bunch of them in northeastern Wisconsin, mainly hail reports. Some to our south and west across southwestern Iowa. Again, almost all hail reports there. But across our viewing area, that one storm popped up and just very quickly as the storm kind of collapsed on itself, brought a big downburst of wind of about 50 to 60 miles per hour that caused that damage right around Merrimack. Other than a hail report of about an inch of diameter hailstones around Lodi, that was pretty much it around here. Now, today we have uh, pretty nice weather, lots of sunshine. Uh, some clouds popped up during the afternoon, but notice those have started to clear out and that could allow us to see the northern lights tonight. In fact, the Aurora forecast shows that the greater uh, probability of that happening are in far northern Wisconsin, southern Wisconsin will have to see if we get to a level two a geomagnetic storm, then we would see a better chance here. High temperatures today, very comfortable. 77 Madison, Milwaukee hit 80, but most areas stayed in the 70s. Right now we're in the 60s and even a few 50s, especially north and west of the Dells. Here in Dane County right now, 63 in Perry, 61 in Mount Horb, and 61 degrees in, in uh, Wanakee. Otherwise, look for mostly clear skies overnight. It'll be cool with a low of 54. Later on, I'll take a look at a forecast, include some warmer weather and some chances for rain. Gary, thank you. All right, get them out. Check those Powerball tickets if you have them. Charlotte's got hers. We've got the new numbers for tonight's $900 million lottery. All right, so tonight's grand prize is the third largest jackpot in the game's history. And the question is, will it keep growing? It will the, on your ticket. Uh, uh -huh, it sure will. The numbers tonight, 5, 8, 9, 17, 41. Powerball is 21. If there is a winner, that winning ticket holder could choose between a 900 million uh, given out in installments, annual installments over 30 years, or a lump sum payment estimated at more than $465 million, both before taxes. And if there's no winner, we will do this all again Wednesday over, night. Probably over a billion by then mm -hmm. if nobody wins tonight. All right, good luck to everybody. Fun for the entire family coming later this week. The Dane County Fair returns to Align Energy Center on Thursday. Carnival games, rides, shows, live music, and of course, the fair food that brings you back year after year. And for the first two days on Thursday and Friday, admission is just $3 if you enter before 3 p.m. And that's just for those days. Otherwise, a daily adult ticket is $10, youth ticket $5. For more information on the fair schedule and the musical acts performing, look for this story at channel3000.com. A partnership between SSM Health and Southern Wisconsin's busiest food pantry will help new mothers in need when they leave the hospital after giving birth. The River Food Pantry is teaming up with the health care provider for its Baskets of Hope program, which provides new moms with shelf-stable emergency groceries. Each basket also comes with education on local resources available to help with with more permanent food security options. A SSM Healthy Community Health Worker is also checking in on families to make sure they're doing all right after returning home. The River Food Pantry is providing those groceries and today, the first day of picking up that food. As families are getting ready to go home with a new baby, there is a lot going on. Um, you know, the whole household dynamic may be changing. Um, and so there, there can be a lot of unknowns in that situation and it increased stress across all parts of life. And so this, you know, can just be um, hopefully a small piece of support. Well, this is actually the second Baskets of Hope program to roll out at SSM Health, but the first in Dane County. A similar partnership started in Janesville in April. In the spirit of creating food baskets, Sunshine Place in Sun Prairie is experiencing record-breaking attendees, leaving shelves scarce or empty. Volunteers there need more food donations to give to people in need. Sunshine Place reached a milestone it wasn't expecting this year. We have served more families uh, and more people more times than we did in all of 2022. Just this morning, Sunshine Place was filled with at least 60 households, all needing essentials for their families. We are uh, serving more than twice as many families every day as we were this time last year. We're serving more people than we did at the height of the pandemic. Katie says the organization is seeing more people because of rising costs, unemployment, and lowering benefits. This is where people can come to make ends meet. The pantry commonly sees young families, elderly people on fixed incomes, working class families, and people with disabilities. Anybody can experience food insecurity at any time. Um, most people are one or two paychecks away from needing to come to a place like this. More and more people return to the pantry, not only for the essentials, but also for the variety.
What we have tried to do is make this like a grocery store. The pantry gives shopping carts for people to select what they want from the aisles. The setup and variety allows families to make their own choices instead of just getting prepackaged goods. That's akin to like going into a restaurant and instead of you getting to order, they just give you whatever it is that you're going to eat, whether you like it or not. That just doesn't work. Sunshine Place needs donations and volunteers to keep up with those rising numbers and ways to help can be found on their website. An Air National Guardsman accused of leaking highly classified military documents has asked a judge to let him out of jail as he awaits trial. 21-year-old Jack Teixeira has been in custody since his arrest in April while he awaits trial for charges under the Espionage Act. The Air National Guardsman has pleaded not guilty to several federal charges including willful retention and transmission of classified information related to national defense. Investigators allege Teixeira shared top secret documents on the social media platform Discord. Across the state line in Iowa, abortion is legal again tonight after a judge put a hold on the state's new six-week abortion ban. Hours after the bill was signed Friday, three organizations filed a lawsuit claiming the law violates women's constitutional rights to abortion and due process. The lawsuit was filed by Planned Parenthood of the Heartland, the Emma Goldman Clinic, and the American Civil Liberties Union of Iowa. While the law is on hold for now, the district judge will allow Iowa's Board of Medicine to begin drafting guidelines on how physicians would be punished for violating the law if it stands. More stories are just ahead. Counterfeit car seats, they're fake, but the dangers associated with them are very real. What to look for to make sure you don't have one of those knockoffs. Stay with us. You're watching News 3 Now at 10, winner of the best evening newscast by the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association. When a clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house, yes, everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. And they're ruling? Don't beg. It's not becoming. Is that good? I, I can't tell. There's no such thing as out of bounds. Find adventure at the Lexus Golden Opportunity sales event. Get special offers on the 2024 NX250. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. I've got some cheese curds that I'm willing to share. Then I want to ride that giant slide over there. So if you've got 11 days to spare, won't you come with me to the Wisconsin State Fair? Won't you come with me to the Wisconsin? Great state of Wisconsin! State There's fair. something for everyone at the Wisconsin State Fair, presented by U.S. Cellular August 3rd through the 13th. Why didn't we do this last year? Before you were preventing migraine with Culepta? Remember the pain? Cancel plans? The worry? That was then. And look at me now. You'll never truly forget migraine, but Culepta reduces attacks, making zero migraine days possible. It's the only pill of its kind that blocks CGRP and is approved to prevent migraine of any frequency to help give you that forget-you-get-migraine feeling. Don't take if allergic to Culepta. Most common side effects are nausea, constipation, and sleepiness. Learn how Abby could help you save. Culepta, the forget-you-get-migraine medicine. When a clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house, yes, everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. I love Tamar Braxton's take on things. They ask you out, but they're younger than you. Well, ain't nothing wrong with a little junior, man. <laughs> then an iconic moment with the Isley Brothers. Are you ready? On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. 
A New York man is raising awareness on the importance of donating blood as he's been donating platelets during stops in the middle of a cross-country journey. That's right. Today was day 38 of the trip for Bob Barnes to call Syracuse home when he's not on his bike. His route so far has taken him through the Great Lakes region and he'll soon return to the East Coast where he'll continue his trip by going down the coast and outlining the country's perimeter. Today he woke up just outside Jefferson, biked into town and stopped at the Impact Life Blood Donation Center on Mineral Point Road to give blood. He hopes his ride inspires others to get out and donate. Just get up, walk out the door, and go donate. It's real simple to do. You, can, you make your appointment online. Um, it's, it's, it's not a difficult process, um, and you feel great when you're all done. And if you're wondering, is it safe to ride a bike after giving blood? Well, Barnes admits it may not be the wisest decision, but he is an experienced cyclist. He donated blood here last summer during a cycling tour of all 50 state capitals. Topping tonight's health watch, the right car seat can greatly reduce risk of serious injury and death for children. But hospitals across the country are actually finding more counterfeit and fake ones. Courtney Gleaton with Orlando Health says last year the hospital system found 42 counterfeit seats. 34 foreign-made car seats during inspections, and many of the knockoff car seats are bought online. So Gleaton says, don't buy from a third party. If you already have a car seat for your child, check the straps, the anchoring parts. If there are no lower anchor attachments or a chest clip, well, it might be counterfeit. Finally, read the label. All federally compliant car seats should say that it conforms to all applicable federal motor vehicle safety standards. If it did not come with a registration card or a car seat manual, that could also be an indicator that it's counterfeit. Gleaton says you can find a nationally certified child passenger safety technician in your area simply by logging on to safekids.org and just click on car seat checks. A new study indicates having young children watch a gun safety video might protect them better when they are around firearms. More than 220 kids ages 8 to 12 participated in the study conducted by researchers at Ohio State University. Researchers believe watching the video helped change some children's behavior around guns. The study found children who watched the gun safety video were 28% less likely to touch a gun they found hidden in a drawer, and 20% were less likely to pull the trigger. Guns are the leading cause of death for kids and teenagers in the United States. In fact, more than 2,500 children die from guns each year. Researchers hope better education can reduce those numbers. It's anticipated that Apple will announce the newest iPhone later this summer. Ahead of that, someone just paid major money for not the newest model, but the oldest, an original Apple iPhone. Still in its box from 2007, sealed in plastic still, it sold for more than $190,000 at an auction house over the weekend. The four gigabyte model originally sold for 600 bucks, meaning this buyer paid more than 300 times the original price to get the factory wrapped original design. The phone was described as the holy grail among iPhone collectors due to its extreme scarcity, as it's uncommon to find a first generation iPhone with no damage to its display or any broken buttons. In Florida, dozens of furry friends are overrunning a neighborhood. In fact, between 60 and 100 lion and rabbits are living in Wilton Manors. One resident explains that a neighbor left her rabbits in the street when she moved a couple of years ago, and since they weren't spayed or neutered, the animals multiplied. While they may be cute, for residents nearby, they're a nuisance. The first thing I do is get up and cover up the holes and chase them out of the backyard too. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I'd, I'd like them, mm -hmm. but uh, I just wish they would live somewhere else. Residents are trying to raise thousands of dollars to rescue them and find them homes as the rabbits aren't safe outside in the Florida heat with their thick fur. Extreme heat, a problem in some parts of the country like the Southwest, but here in the upper Midwest, we were sitting comfortably in the 70s earlier today. Yeah, you know, it was nice. We had uh, we had rain late last week and mm -hmm. for some of us uh, over the weekend. And so uh, between that cooling the air and a uh, little bit of uh, a shift in the wind direction, mm -hmm. it actually was a pretty nice day today. Now, as far as the rain is concerned, you know, over the last seven days, we've got some pretty healthy rains over much of southern Wisconsin, areas from uh, western Columbia County, north Western Dane County, north and west of Madison into southern Sauk County saw about three to four inches of rain, even more rain, some localized amounts over six inches uh, to, uh, just uh, north and east or just east of uh, Waterloo, Iowa and west of Dubuque, Iowa, but also a three to four inch swath that covered parts of southwestern Wisconsin. But just about the rest of the area got a good one to two inches over that time period. Now, as we take a look over the last 72 hours, precipitation became more spotty. Uh, last night, of course, we had the thunderstorms that uh, brought the wind damage 
up near Merrimack, but you can see where the thunderstorms tracked, some areas got a half inch to an inch or more of rain, and then areas nearby got very little, and that's kind of what you run into during the summer. The precipitation becomes much more spotty. And if we look at Doppler track right now, still a few showers up in the northern part of the Midwest, but skies are clearing out pretty nicely here. Hopefully we'll be able to see the aurora if it occurs. But take a look at the 10-day future track precipitation. This takes us through 1.30 p.m. Thursday of next week, and right now, we're looking at much less than an inch of rain through much of uh, Wisconsin, maybe an inch up in the northern parts of the state, but we're going back in that dry pattern and it looks like uh, things will be pretty quiet through at least the end of next week. Now, as far as the aurora is concerned, the highest probability will be in the northern portion of the Midwest, uh, northern Wisconsin, upper Michigan, northern Minnesota. If we can get to a level two or moderate uh, geomagnetic storm, then it's more likely the aurora would be able to be seen as far south as Madison. But right now we don't have a moon out there, so that's good. And uh, if you can get away from city lights, look to the north and you might be able to see uh, the northern lights. As we take a look at three things you need to know in the forecast, it's going to stay warm for the next 10 days. We're back in the 80s tomorrow and we'll be in the upper 80s for much of next week. Just a slight chance of showers Wednesday, a chance of showers uh, Wednesday night and Thursday morning, and then it'll be dry, like I said, for most of next week with high temperatures perhaps touching or uh, very close to 90 by uh, the middle and latter parts of the week. 81 for the high tomorrow, partly sunny, a little warmer than today. We stayed in the 70s today. Planning your day across Dane County, 81 in Madison, 81 50 Pittsburgh, 77 in Mount Horeb and 79 degrees to the high tomorrow in Mazomani. Across uh, the rest of Wisconsin, this is uh, for uh, future track precipitation. Again, this is through th uh, Thursday of this week, and you can see just very spotty precipitation, less than a tenth of an inch in most areas where we even get any rain at all. And that's going to be mainly from Wednesday into Thursday morning. The best chance is Wednesday night and Thursday morning in our first warm 7 to 10 day forecast. And then another ch slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm Saturday night into Sunday of this weekend. Most of that will be dry. And then no rain expected as we head into the latter parts of next week with high temperatures around 90. Humidity levels will come up as well. Three now first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. to start in the all-electric ID4. It's the little things. Visit your Volkswagen dealer today and get a $7,500 lease bonus on a new 2023 all-electric ID4. You've got this. Whatever it is, you're ready for it. Your newly purchased defenses, top of the line. Your backup, backing up. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with Access Checking. It's maintenance fee free with no minimum balance requirements. So if your new house still has some old tenants, we'll make sure your checking account won't be giving you any surprises. You've got this with Associated Bank. Where's the most convenient place to get that big fitness energy? It's Planet Fitness! Now through July 19th, you can join for just $1 down, $10 a month, cancel any time. With over 2,400 locations worldwide and equipment for every workout, you can get in, get energized, and get going. Whether you're a newbie or a gym pro, you belong in the judgment-free zone. So join today for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel any time. Deal ends Wednesday, July 19th. That's how we do. Attention, Wisconsin veterans. I'm Tony Evers, the governor of Wisconsin. If you are a veteran struggling to pay for rent, utilities, or other life-sustaining services, I want you to know that the Veterans Rental Assistance Program is here to help. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin with benefit approvals being issued to veterans in just days, not months. You have already made a most noble sacrifice. You shouldn't have to continue doing so. We are here to support you. With pride in the way, it's never easy to ask for assistance, but rest assured, we are here to help. The VRAP team is standing by to help. So call 833-WISVRAP or visit VRAPWI.com. You've always been there for us. We want you to know that we're here for you. On behalf of the state of Wisconsin, thank you. 
America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Choose Flex Buy on a 2023 Ford Escape or Edge and get 2.9% APR financing for 66 months plus $1,000 Flex Buy cash. Only at your local Ford dealer. This morning, Badger greats of past and present hit the links for the first annual Badger Challenge Celebrity Golf Scramble, and they did it for a good cause, raising money for the UW Carbone Cancer Center. And the stars were all out. Barry Alvarez, Luke Fickle, Derek Watt, Tyler Wall, you name it, and many more were at Blackhawk Golf Course. And while there's a lot of beautiful places you could be on a summer day like today, there's no place they'd rather be with, with, than with their Badger brothers raising money for a good cause. This is the first annual. I'm really excited to see what happens uh, in the years to come. But I know it'll be a great day. We've been blessed with great weather and, uh, again, great people coming together for a great cause. It's for the cancer research and everything that goes along with that. We're out here for a great cause, and I know I'm happy. I know my teammate Max is happy to be out here raising money and out here for, for, a, good, for a good cause. Derek Watt is right around the corner from the NFL season, but the former Badger still has an eye on Madison. Today's golf outing was his second Badger charity event of the week after winning the Battle for Wisconsin softball game this weekend. Watt says it's a no-brainer to give back to Madison alongside his Badger brethren, but before he plays on Sundays, he says, like most, he's excited to watch a new-look Badger team with an unprecedented amount of hype. I had a chance to catch up with Coach Fickle uh, probably two months ago, and I brought my wife and kids up to the stadium and, and let them run around a little bit and check it out. And um, was was exciting to hear what he had to say and, and how uh, you know his mindset. And and um, they're really looking forward to to seeing those guys play this year. Hopefully, they play better than they played softball the other day. And fresh off their record-setting seventh national championship, Badger Women's Hockey released more of their schedule today. They'll open the season at Lindenwood in Missouri on September 28th and 29th and host Boston College on October 5th and 6th for their home opener. Later in the season, fans can catch a national championship rematch when Bucky hosts Ohio State on February 23rd and 24th. That's the regular season finale. And if you missed it, Steve Stricker was at it again this weekend. He won again at the College Companies Championship, winning at 11 under. Strick captured his seventh senior major title and his third of the year. As the 56-year-old's legend continues to grow, another Wisconsin golf icon reacts and says how Strick will enjoy some time off. It's been absolutely fantastic. I saw him on Friday. I was over there for a couple of days, and he's playing so well, and it's so easy right now, and he's so comfortable doing it. It's, it's been fun to watch, and uh, he said he's not going over across the pond. He's going fishing up in Canada, so good for him. We'll be right back. Dear Freedom, here's to more miles driven, more dollars saved, and more electrified vehicles than any other brand. Yours, Toyota Hybrids. Toyota. Let's go places. When an appliance you rely on goes kaput, you can count on family-owned Brothers Main, Southern Wisconsin's local appliance authority since 1938. With thousands of in-stock options, we have the brands you want at the lowest prices guaranteed. Even big box can't beat our prices. Our experienced team of appliance experts will help you make the right selection, and we deliver it fast and free to your home. What you need when you need it. Shop appliances you can bring home today at our Madison and Janesville showrooms. Feel like family. Brothers Main. Look, Mom, I found one. Oh, yeah, you did, but we need an ATM from our bank, unless you want to spend a small fortune in fees. <laughs> no, thank you. Banking with BMO means more fee-free ATMs than the two largest U.S. banks combined, including places like pharmacies and grocery stores. Saving money and more convenient. <laughs> Look at you being so helpful. What'd you expect? You're standing at a help stop. That's you. <laughs> As me, at a desk. When a bank helps you get and stay ahead, that's the BMO effect. Set summer in motion with the most electrifying Honda vehicles yet, like the CRV and the Accord, both with available hybrid powertrains, designed to deliver more thrilling performance and more innovative tech. Make every adventure more electrifying with Honda, the most awarded brand in car and driver 10 best history. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. 
Postmenopausal women with HR positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer are living longer with Cascali. So long live family time, long live dreams, and long live you. Cascali is a pill proven to help women live longer when taken with an aromatase inhibitor. Of quality of life, so you're not just living, you're living well. Cascali can cause lung problems or an abnormal heartbeat, which can lead to death. It can cause serious skin reactions, liver problems, and low white blood cell counts that may result in severe infections. Avoid grapefruit during treatment. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including breathing problems, cough, chest pain, a change in your heartbeat, dizziness, yellowing of the skin or eyes, dark urine, tiredness, loss of appetite, abdomen pain, bleeding, bruising, fever, chills, or other symptoms of an infection, a severe or worsening rash, are or plan to become pregnant or breastfeeding. Long live hugs and kisses. Ask about Kiskali and long live life. Dear Freedom, here's to more miles driven, more dollars saved, and more electrified vehicles than any other brand. Yours. It's Toyota. Let's go places. Mallard's Baseball, Friday night. Come for the game, stay for the fireworks. And Gary's here once again. Final check of the forecast. Very pleasant evening out there. Uh, we'll have to see whether or not we can see the northern lights tonight. I, I don't think the cloud cover will be an issue. There's a live view from the Edgewater Sky Camp. Uh, temperatures right now, 64 Madison, already in the 50s north of the Dell. So you might need a sweater or jacket if you're going out to look at the lights. Try to get away from city lights as much as possible, but moonlight will not be a problem right now. Here across Dane County, already down to 60 degrees in Middleton, 64 in Deerfield, and 62 degrees in Edgerton. Look for for skies to be mostly clear overnight, low temperature dropping to about 54 tomorrow. Partly sunny, a little warmer, high temperature at 81. And look for those temperatures to stay warm for the next 10 days. Shower thunderstorm chance mainly Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Outside of that, just very slight, if any, chances for rain. All right, Gary, thank you. Thanks for joining us for News Now at 10. Do something good, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.